Well met. Welcome to another random underscore 14 YouTube video. As Lord Lolo Rito goes, so goes the syndicate. Prone to violence and criminal activity. Who is he to speak of us thus? Are we to be punished for sins we may never commit? Did they not hear Lady Yugdi's pleas? How can they turn us away, knowing what we have endured? My people could not endure another long sea voyage. But if Ulda will not accept us what choice have we? It bears repeating that Lord Lolorito does not speak for the Syndicate. The others harbor doubts, I will allow, but in time they shall see the error of their ways. As you observed, Lolorito is not afraid to speak his mind, nor is he like to change it. Oft have I wondered how a man so skilled at weighing the worth of things should be so incapable of seeing the value in people. Bah! I will waste no more words on him, not when the Germans are yet in need of aid. Everyone, follow me to the Hall of Flames. You will watch your tongue whilst in the Royal Promenade. What was it we were searching for again? Is there naught we can do to earn the approval of these Uldar enemies? We do not wish to live by the grace of others. We want to work, we want to contribute. A galleon is no place for my people, or any people, to call home. This cannot continue. I will not deny that certain portions of the refugee population have been a burden on the Sultanate, but I take issue with my counterpart's contention that they account for the majority. In this they are plainly mistaken. Even so, we must not think ill of them for wishing to protect our great nation. Mayhap I should have considered the likelihood of failure more deeply beforehand. The Syndicate has spoken, and I see no point in moving that the matter be reconsidered. The Monetarists have made their position clear. Agreed. Gul'dad is not an option. Nor are Lucilonsa or Gridania, I judge, given the state of their internal affairs. Which leaves our Doman friends confined to a ship. Gods, the thought of them huddled in an airless hold with no hope of better treatment. Would that I had more time to find an alternative. A place not bound by the concerns of the great nations. Menphilia. That is precisely what I wish to discuss. I understand the Syndicate's decision, I do. We all wish to preserve that which is ours, especially when we believe it to be under siege. But I cannot meekly accept this judgment, not while my people suffer. Would it be out of the question for the Sultanate to accept us for a limited time? A week, mayhap, or even just a few days? Excellent. I shall keep you informed. Lady Yugdi. I have a proposal, if you would hear it. Out with it, Master Alphano. 
the headquarters of my order, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, stands in a place called Revenant's Toll, an outpost in Moor Dahona. Like most outposts, it is frequented by mercenaries and other men of action, and lacks the comforts of more well-established settlements. However, the leaders of Revenant's Toll have been doing their utmost to change that. To that end, they have need of able-bodied individuals willing to work as frontier hands. Hard labor, lest you doubt, would not save food and shelter by way of reward. Terms not unlike those which you yourself proposed, Lady Yugadi. Though I will not hear a word said against our beloved Uldav, Revenant's toll would offer certain advantages, the absence of unhelpful bureaucracy being the most obvious. If they can accommodate us all, we shall gladly accept. Master Alfano, once again I find myself in your debt. Pray do not thank me, my lady. The life your people go to is one of hard labor and few comforts, as I told you. And before that, there remains the matter of how they may safely be born to Revenant's Toll, which will be no small feat, considering the distance and their present condition. May have the Uldan Adventurers Guild can be of assistance. Look for me there or not, Kaneko team. Lady Yugadi, if you and your people would accompany me, we may discuss what aid the Immortal Flames can provide. We are concerned that the Doman refugees may find the journey to Revenant's Toll too much to bear. Too long have they been sequestered aboard their ship, with insufficient supplies and scarce room enough to breathe, let alone stretch their limbs. With that in mind, Mistress Mamadai has kindly offered to accommodate the Domans until such time as they are ready to set out for more Dahona. Those healthy enough to travel will embark as soon as transportation has been secured while those too weak to leave at once will be permitted to stay until they regain their strength. What news? Transportation remains our greatest obstacle, General. Is there aught the immortal flames can do? I fear that exceeds our mandate. Were it a smaller number, mayhap it would go unnoticed. But the Syndicate will not bear the cost of escorting more than 200 domains to Mordhana. When government fails to act, the responsibility falls to us private citizens. I will engage the services of the 77 caravans on the domain's behalf. Very well. We should begin contract negotiations at once. Your generosity is most welcome, my lord. After all that has befallen these good people, it is the least I can do. Come what may, you shall ever have a friend in Ulda, Lady Yugadi. And you in Revenant's Toll, my lord. Well, it sounds like we all have work to do, Lady Yugadi. Let's put our heads together and settle the details of our arrangement, shall we? I would entrust the task of escorting our Doman friends to you, after you have rested your own road-weary legs, 
of course. What say you? Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Farewell.